Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek and Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. In finishing up our skyscraper here, I'm going to select the roof and let me scroll, move that up a little bit. Select my roof object. I notice that these little corners here hang over the edge, and this is not a big deal, but I think we can clean this up just a little bit, make it look a little nicer, not that anyone would ever see it. And I'll just bring those uh, edges in, those polygons in, just like that. Let's click off of that, it looks a little nicer. Okay, now let's get on to creating uh, some ducts, some heat air conditioning units up here. So I'll use my lay on tool. And let's, whoops, let's click off. I'll make this a little taller. There we are. And it still is a little large. Let's scale it down some. That looks to be good. A good scale to begin with. So let's just lay it right up on there. Like so, we'll move it over there. Now what I want to do is select the bottom face like that. And come over here, sweep surface tool, sweep outwards. Come down, come outwards again and come down. There we go. Well, let me grab another cube and I'll set this on the rooftop. There we are. That's where that needs to be. Let's bring this over here. This piece here we'll use for our metal uh, duct work. Um, let's lay that on there. And now we'll be able to get an idea on scale. That looks good. Okay. Um, I will use the snap align tool and I'll snap that bottom edge to this bottom edge. And I think I might want to abort that and try that again. That was not what I had intended. So, snap that bottom edge down to that bottom edge. There we are. And we'll just move it in side like that. Let's select that edge and we'll use sweep surface. Actually, I'll just stretch it out. Now I'll use my sweep surface tool. I'm just going to create a joint here and another joint there. Validate that. Sweep surface. Stop it there. That's good. And I'll stretch this one out. I don't know really what uh, duct work looks like, um, but I have an idea in my mind. I'll create another joint there. And let's bring it over here. Create one more joint. Validate that. Take that edge. And I'll just bring it down like that. Select this this face, sweep surface, create another joint there. Grab that edge and just bring it down. So I am going to select this object, Control D to duplicate it. Let's spin it around 180 and move it over here. 
And now we've got some some more ducks. Let's uh, control D and duplicate that. And we'll create another one. Stick it right here. Uh, right here at the middle. Spin around. That looks almost centered. That looks good there. And we'll create one more. Control D to duplicate that. And we'll bring it in here. Center that up. All right, let's select that, that, and that. We'll weld those together, and I think I'll weld them together. Oops. Uh, we'll call it AC unit. And these will be our duct works. And there we go. This is a skyscraper or large scale model building that we created very easily in Hexagon and we had to do it in components. By that I mean we had to create all these separate sections and then duplicate them and arrange them. We couldn't do it out of one single cube and I will show you why. Now ideally if you think about making a building you would probably think, well, I, w I want it to be, say, uh, s you know, so many feet high, so many feet wide, so many feet long, and I want uh, X number of sections. And unfortunately, um, in its current or in its la uh, existing state of development, Hexagon doesn't offer many of the more current modeling tools that other programs have. So if we were able to create a, a, a cube like this in hexagon, it wouldn't allow us to create the windows all in one shot out of a, out of a cube. Uh, the best we could do in hexagon was, would be to use the extrude button, but, oops, um, let me back out of this. Let me select my faces here. The best we could do in hexagon would be to, uh, if we tried to extrude the selected faces, this is all it would do. It, it doesn't contain the ability to extrude each face individually, whereas other programs would allow us to do this. And hopefully if, ever, if Daz ever resurrects Hexagon and decides to uh, give it some new life by updating it and giving it some new tools and uh, strengthening the tools that it currently has, uh, it might give us this ability. But uh, right now, Hexagon just doesn't have it. So that's why we had to create everything uh, in pieces and lay it and, and uh, piece it all together. So that's it for this modeling tutorial. I hope uh, you can benefit from it. Hope you've learned something not only for creating buildings but many of the techniques that we used in here. Maybe you can use them in uh, other modeling projects. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Have a good day.